cheetah is looking very, very regal indeed. Found the, the largest sort of, I think it, I wonder if it is a termite mound at all, actually. I think it's just a piece of mm, large knoll of soil of really indeterminate origin. I'm not sure if that is, in fact, a termite mound or not. I don't think so. Anyway, she's found it as a vantage point. And much as the topi was doing a little bit earlier, she is now, of course, surveying the landscape for something that she might like to eat. In this case, most likely a Thompson's gazelle. And if you do hear a bit of human chatter, it's not because Senzo is overwhelmed with excitement. It is because there is a vehicle full of people next to us. All enjoying the sighting of this amazing cheetah. I mean, that really is quintessential, isn't it? Now, I can't see anything for her to sort of set her sights on around here. There are some topi around. They'll be a bit big, a couple of zebra. Well, hundreds of zebra, but they're definitely too big. And so I think she's going to have to wait for the arrival of a Tomesones gazelle, or perhaps an impala. And thank you all for your screenshots. Always nice to have them. Great. Now let me just give you an idea of the temperature here. I'm going to guess that it's probably sitting at around 19 degrees centigrade in the so in the shade, which is about 70 odd Fahrenheit, uh, 69 odd. And ooh, maybe she has spotted something. And although the sun is bright, the altitude that we have here makes the climate very comfortable. And apparently, somebody has seen behind the tail, and they think it's a male cheetah, which will make me very happy, because I, it was my initial impression. Then I heard somebody, one of the guides who was here before, referring to it as a female. Let's see if we can't see. That is most certainly a male cheetah. Well done, Kirsten. Well spotted. Hmm. Francis, I'm very sorry. You're in Israel and I've missed your question. And what I heard was, do cheetahs pay tax? Which I'm sure wasn't your question. Oh, do cheetahs stay in packs, not do they pay tax? Uh, no, they don't. The females and males will be largely solitary, but the males sometimes form coalitions. So they will sometimes live with their brothers, and certainly the two that we see at Juma most regularly uh, are two brothers that live in a coalition that is a permanent sort of arrangement. But often the males will be solitary, and this chap is probably solitary. Well, I don't know that we're going to get a better view than that. I think he's going to head off into the woodland there. Now, what cheetah do, although they hunt in the clearings, they will often walk on the fringes of a clearing through the woodland like that. Oh, sorry about that. Um, and you can see, and what he's doing is exactly that, and I think he might come out and hunt a little bit later. But uh, you can see there in front of us, well, a number of people enjoying the great Masai Mara and its exceptional animals. <laughs> 